Today we give you a sneak preview of one of the most exciting cruising cats under 50 feet for 2022, built by the super high performance HH Catamarans. The new 44 foot model splices technology, performance and comfort together into two exceptional packages. Let's take a look. Formed in 2016 as a collaboration between Hudson Yachts and renowned Kiwi boat builder Paul Hakes, who has a history of building top-end yachts such as America Cup yachts, the PlayStation Catamaran and other carbon fibre and racing boats, HH Catamarans has built a reputation for building super high-end and all-carbon supercats, most notably the HH66 that won a swag of awards just a few years ago. Now with the release of the new 44-foot cat, you have the option of the ultimate in technology with the HH44 or a simplified and more affordable ocean cruising package for cruising families on the same hull and interior with the OC44. The lines of the 44 are striking to say the least and this boat is designed to sail. Sharp efficient hulls, lots of reserve buoyancy forward and a comparable light ship displacement starting from just 8.75 tonnes and a payload of up to four and a half tons. The OC44 is built from e-glass with the superior epoxy resin with a carbon fibre ring frame. The boat comes standard with powerful overlapping genoa and a furling reacher from the bowsprit attached to a lingeron beam to support an optional self-tacking staysail between large trampolines and a flat deck with flush mounted hatches. The OC44 comes standard with mini keels with wings that provide additional lift However, the HH44 has pre-preg carbon dagger boards built to withstand the intense loads when racing. All controls run back under the deck to a very cool pedestal helm that allows you to get outboard to see your sails or inboard to get out of the weather. There's a drop down helm seat outboard or you can sit on the comfortable transom seat when positioned inboard. The cockpit offers fantastic living space that opens into the saloon, thanks to these pop-up glass windows and sliding door, with plenty of shade above. There is a large cockpit table surrounded by comfortable lounging seats that have storage under each of them, with Eva foam flooring to provide a comfortable non-skid as standard. They also have a clever approach to the transoms, with a fold-down carbon fibre swim ladder that, when lifted, provides enhanced protection from being pooped or wash from the stern, not to mention unwelcome visitors or critters. Inside the saloon, you have an enormous U-shaped galley up with induction stove and built-in convection microwave as standard. Adjacent a spacious interior lounge with forward-facing navigation surrounded by panoramic tempered glass windows. There's also forward opening windows for maximum flow-through ventilation without the need for air conditioning. There are pleated blinds standard internally to help with shade from the sun the saloon has synthetic leather interior as standard. Despite the hull being a high performance design and narrower than some, the queen size cabins are spacious with lots of headroom, surrounded by natural light thanks to a large aft window with hatch and other windows outboard. The systems for running this boat are also very clever, with up to 3.2 kilowatts of solar panels on a huge cockpit roof that extends to the transoms, with a traveller line inbuilt as a standard with electric controls. There's also a 3000 watt inverter and 100 amp combi charger as standard on the boat. The boat has been designed to accommodate a hybrid diesel electric engine, converting the solar power into electric powered motors that are coupled to a marinized diesel motor with shaft drive in case the weather really turns bad. This is standard on the HH44, but an optional upgrade to the twin 30 horsepower diesel sail drives on the OC44. So if you prefer to include most of the options and want the performance, the HH44 might be the boat for you with the hybrid motor standard and all the bells and whistles. But if you prefer a simpler cruising setup but still like performance, I think you'll find the OC44 hard to go past. With a dozen boats already sold, production is being set up, but for now, there's a rare chance to get boats sooner. 
So if you want information on the OC44 and the HH44, click here. To see the full interview with HH President Seth Hines from the Sailing Family, click here.